So you got a fish room and you want to put a lot of tanks in there or you want to get some massive tanks but you don't want to pay that hefty retail price. Let's find out how to do that. Luckily, it's 2018. Back in the 90s, you didn't have what we have today in the past and that is called the internet. Oh, by the way, double 125s, that's what this video is all about. But we didn't have the internet back, we had the internet, but it wasn't as popular and it wasn't being uh, utilized anywhere near it is today. Today, you have media outlets such as Facebook, Craigslist, eBay. Use what you're comfortable with and definitely be careful. There are crooks out there just like anywhere else in the world. But you can find anything on the internet today. But the point of the story is, about a week ago, I was on Facebook looking around for fun, getting ideas, and if I saw something that was uh, gonna fit my knees and the right price, I was probably gonna jump on it. I came across a 125 gallon in Fredericksburg, Virginia. Haven't done a leak test yet, and I think it's gonna hold. The silicone looks good. But the pictures looked pretty decent. So I talked to Chris, and long story short, I got off I was off Friday, this two days ago, and I went up there to get it, and I walk into the shop, and go and behold, there is a 125 gallon in a battery shop. And I was like, I guess I'm in the right place. All right, so let's get down to the bottom of it. How do we actually find cheap aquariums for our fish rooms or our disease of a hobby or pet keeping, whatever you want to call it? There's a couple different tricks, and your best resource is online. They're going to have different resources out there from either eBay, Craigslist, Facebook selling groups. Um, they're everywhere out there. Your local community clubs uh, in the, your local surrounding areas should have Facebook pages. If they don't, make one. That way your community can grow. But when you're online, also take precautions. Not everyone online is your friend. So definitely be precautious with things and go about doing things in a safe manner. But for example, my first 125 gallon, which is right there, I got that from a friend that used to work at a local fish store. He was getting out of the, he didn't want the tank anymore. So long story short, he asked me if I wanted it for a hundred bucks because he knew I was gonna put that aquarium to good use. I said, sure, I'm combining a whole bunch of tanks. I'm looking for a six foot tank, absolutely. My second 125, uh, let's back up. The 75 gallon down here, which is gonna be the Oscar tank, uh, I found on eBay, guy lived like not even 10 miles away from me, had a damn tarantula in it. And if you like spiders, that's your thing, but I, I don't do spiders. And then um, this 75 gallon came from, oh, I'm sorry. This was the 75 gallon with the, uh, the tarantula in it. The one below had the Oscar I rescued from my friend David Trailer. What's up, July? Um, I got both of those tanks at a decent good price. One, because I knew the guy, and second of all, that had a tarantula in it, and ugh, that, ugh. I don't do spiders. These 55 gallons. One actually came from David Trailer along, and then another one came from my cousin. My second 125 gallon, which is down right here, this one I got 100 bucks from Craigslist, a guy in Bowling Green, Virginia, or Ladysmith, somewhere down there, uh, he was getting rid of it. He had used this tank as a bait aquarium. So when he was going bass, bass fishing or whatever, all his shiners and other bait fish were kept in this 125 gallon. He had a thick glass divider in there. That way his bait was separate so he could easily access them. And then recently, I got this one from a Facebook marketing page because I was looking for a boat trailer for my canoe and my future kayaks. I don't know, maybe in a rare case, aquariums will just be lying on the side of the road in somebody's trash can and you can get them that way. I'm sure that has happened plenty of times to people around the world. But for the most part, all you gotta do guys is go out there and look for them. And in today's society, I'm filming on my phone right now. So you can do the same thing. You can look around on your computer, your laptop, your tablet, your iPhone, your, your droid, whatever it is and you can find everything at your disposal without leaving the comfort of your home. Let's talk about this tank. As you guys can see, it's pretty bare. Nothing in it. It's got a little bit of remnants of the turquoise blue gravel. That's what Chris had in it before, and uh, that's not staying in there. <laughs> I want a natural look. So yesterday, 
I took the tank home, I finished uh, painting the last bit of the stand, and I basically carried the stand in, painted it in the house because it's been raining, and then placed it on the stand. Before that, I scooted this stand up to my existing 125 stand with a saltwater tank below it, and I literally slid the old tank, which are gonna house angelfish, on top of there. I had plans for this tank. Oh yeah, this tank also came with a 72 inch uh, T8 light. You can see the color max, and I believe like probably a 5,000K bulb on this side. This is what I wanna do, guys. I have an Oscar. You guys are, some of you are aware of that. This is gonna be his home. Pardon the blackbeard algae you're about to see, but about a week ago, the fish's behavior has changed. As you guys can see, they're all swimming tightly in this cluster up here. The turquoise rainbow has darkened because he's trying to blend in with that background to hide. Now, lately I've been doing a lot of banging and drilling and sawing because I've been making this double stand. But I don't think that's the reason that the fish are freaking out. And also, a tiger barb has died. And the albinos have died off. But I don't think they've been dying off. My little Oscar I got a couple months, months ago is putting some size on. He's an aggressive eater. And in the corner of my eye, when I'm not really paying attention, I see him chasing the other fish and with an Oscar. So in the last couple of days, I took down 18 aquariums to make room for these two. I'm looking at six aquariums on the side of the room and it doesn't stop here. I'm adding another one to the left of this 125 gallon. I've got a lot of tricks up my sleeves and I, this wall is gonna look phenomenal when I'm done. If you guys like what you're seeing, if you wanna see the Oscar move into his permanent home, if you wanna see me plant the tanks over here, definitely hit that subscription button. And definitely, if you're already subscribed, hit the bell button so you're notified when new video comes out. You know what? Nah, I'll tell you the next video.